Uh, silver already. This is very sad. Very sad, but it's two episodes though, so we're eating good. I guess it's our late Christmas present. Uh, hello guys, welcome to the Zelgnev channel. By the way, I probably should just do that intro. I don't know, I don't know. I tried. To, I wanted to do something funny and I just I have no ideas at this point. So it's episode 12 and 13, Everything But The Rain, June Truth. That title is gonna make sense as you watch the episode. And then the other one is The Blade and me. We're gonna talk about that title and what the manga did, which is cooler, to be honest. I have no idea if I'm gonna make a separate video for each episode or if we're gonna make it like a mega video. It's gonna be mega packed events. A lot of chapters are gonna be covered and uh, if we're gonna keep the pacing of the last episode, a lot of things are gonna be cuts. Now, I was definitely annoying little bitch last week. I just don't want to repeat myself too much. For all the faults that the old anime had, uh, sometimes it would have cool filler. And I wanted to see more of Ishin in Soul Society. Because, like, we... Don't get a whole lot of that in the manga, and the anime just cut stuff, you know? This guy should be around during the turn back to Pendulum arc. I don't think he was a captain, but I don't think we even saw the 10th Division captain, right? Who was the guy before? Is he alive? Is he dead? What happened there? There might be a fucking one of those novels. I'm not gonna read that. I don't know how to read. I'm, a, I'm, I'm honestly an idiot. But also, like, every time I look at something from the novels, it's a little cringe. It's it's like a little fan fiction-y. I'm, I'm the coolest Kenpachi. My bunkai destroys the universe. It's just shit like that. I'm just like, bro, I, I don't know. I don't want to read this. And the Renji Rukia one, don't want to say too much because that kind of spoilery. But again, I felt scammed reading that one. Whatever, bro. That's it, all right? This is an awful start. This is not exciting. Let's just watch the video. Oh, Gina Eisen are there. Okay, By the way, I'm not gonna talk about traitors or whatever. In hindsight, like, yeah, like, he had this opportunity to say, you there's, like, actual traitors here. Like, that hollow was, like, actually insane. It's protecting Masaki, of course, but, you know, like, something else was going on that's actually important as well. Is this an all-girls uh, all school academy? I probably is. Ew! Oh, that's extra gross! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bro there's a line in the manga that where that girl is like really thirsty she literally says even if it was my cousin i'll be wet like it's, it's like it's like dude that is wild bro i know japan is a little different with a cousin situation but most of the world is not i'm not I'm, okay what the fuck are they gonna make a new opening for the second season i would like to have a new op but i don't know Wait, was that hell really that big in the manga? Wow! Yep. <laughs> right, who snitched? Oh, Kabedon, bro. I like how you can hear the washing machine. What? What the fuck was that issue with Resident Subtitle? What the fuck? Dude, that is disgusting, bro. I don't want to listen to that. Yo! Yeah, that's, that's probably not healthy. Nowhere. Out there getting milk and cigarettes. I think in the manga, she had like, yeah, 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 she had like something in her leg. Like, what, what is that? What is that? Is that a hollow thing? Yo, oh my god, that is, oh, that is so much more disgusting than I could have ever imagined in the manga. Because you're forever a cuck. Yeah, well, we already saw this in the preview, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have previews anymore. What the fuck's going on with that? I wonder if that shit is on the Netflix version of this. Dude, I don't want to see this. Oh my god. Dude, it's so gross. I can't with this. Uh, the Ishida family? Okay. I would really love to read that. God fucking damn it. Quincy and Hollow. Hmm. I don't think I need to read this, but I would like, to, I, I would like to read any, all of these, honestly. Oh, dude, that is so, dude, I fucking, oh, God. Oh, my God. Boobs. Yo, let's go. We're gonna see some nips. We're not. We're not. She's like so bright. Oh my god, you fucking cowards. God, I remembered and I'm immediately disappointed, bro. I don't know how Kubo got away with this, but like she was naked, bro. She was fucking naked. I'm, not, I'm, I'm serious. Oh my god, stop showing that to me. Dude, oh my god. You might have heard about that name, Ishin, if you were around the turn back to Pendulum Arc. Hmm. You know what's interesting? This is something I'm always thinking in the back of my mind, and I'm finally seeing it now, which is, 
well, for the most part, they've cut a lot of uh, the comedy scenes, right? But, like, just in general, this is a scene that happens in the manga, and it's supposed to be, like, comedy. Like, oh, like, he curses tension with the... Like, oh, I'll do it, haha, <laughs> funny. In the manga, and Kubo does this so many times, so many scenes, he does this, like, really off-model uh, versions of these characters with big round faces, a chibi elbow style look to them. In a lot of, like, the comedy scenes, this anime has never done that. Like, this is happening in the manga, right? This scene, but it does not look like this. They look on model, right? They look how they are supposed to look like. But in the manga, they look like cuter, I guess, versions. I, I, I just think that's interesting, you know? They actively just choose not to do that. You can take it or leave it. I actually do enjoy those cute Kubo drawings. I really like them. But I'm fine, you know, if you don't if you like those, it's whatever. Like, it's up to you. But yeah, I would like to see more of that Kubo style. What if he made, like, a, a comedy thing just using that style? I would like that. But, you know, the man has more work to do, you know? <laughs> This is the Quincy theme? You, would, would you really use that in the hollow scene? Alright. She's way too bright. Boo! Show me this, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, you're cutting... You're even straight up just cutting the scene where she's just showing nips. I'm not gonna show that in this video, by the way. I'm very afraid of problems. Yeah, that's a conversation that they have. Yeah, they changed this a little bit. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, whatever, it's fine. I want to say this, though. Talking about the whole, like, Shinigami Hollow Quincy human situation. So what's going on here is that all that stuff they talk about touches upon something that you've noticed in Bleach. The fact that there are Shinigamis that can turn into hollows with the master visors. But then you have the Espada, which is, like, mirror opposite, where they are hollows that can use Shinigami powers. So what does that mean? Is that Shinigami and Hollow, what they are as a soul, it's not that far off. In fact, an Arankar is something that can happen naturally, like Coyote Stark. Ichigo technically is natural, but it is only natural because his mom and his dad have the whole situation here. But yeah, basically, Shinigami and Hollow are very similar, and that's where the Hogyoku comes in as well. There's like a barrier but separating the two, and Hogyoku can like break that barrier, I guess. And you can like trade powers back and forth. The Quincy's and the Hollows, they're very much opposites. In the same way that Quincy's and Shinigamis are opposites. But apparently Hollows are really bad for Quincy's, but Hollow should be also really bad for humans, so, you know, whatever. Basically, Ishin had to become a Shinigami human to counter Masaki's Quincy Hollow shit, and Ichigo is uh, all of them, and his sisters are none of them, or maybe some of them. Karin was nothing, but Yuzu was. I think I switched up the names. Uh, <laughs> well, whatever. They're not relevant. Well, it means that Ichigo's the only one that has a Hollow, and they got nothing from that. <laughs> I want to say something very quick though. In the manga, I feel like we have an extra panel or two of just her just looking sad. Every time I see scenes with women crying or just like a little pained, I just want you to picture Kubo likes this shit. I remember reading an interview with Kubo where it was like, yeah, I really like drawing Rukia, especially when she's sad or, or pained or whatever. I swear to God, this is something that exists, bro. And I'm just looking at these pictures, these drawings, especially in the manga, and I'm like, bro, Kubo is really enjoying making this girl suffer. So yeah, that's why you're not usually seeing Rukia happy. Because Kubo just likes <laughs> making her sad. That is so fucking insane. Ooh, this is a new scene, though. Yo, this is like new. This is new shit. These this visuals are new. Uh, they're not gonna do that. Uh, I mean, this is, this is good. Don't get me wrong. Ah, this is good. This is this is good. This is this this is pretty good. It looks like a movie actually. And then you were born. Yo, the vibe of this is like completely different from the manga. At least for me. The June truth. Oh, this is the end of the episode. Really, really want to say really quickly what I mean by like the vibe of the scene being a little different. Before anything, this whole shot is like different in the manga when he's like describing her as a son. It's a, it's a really cute drawing of basically Masaki being the center of the universe and every planet and galaxy, including Ishin, are around her in like in a, in a gravi gravitational pull. It's, it's so cute. I really like that. That is a shame. We're not going to get that. But again, like I said before, it's something about the anime just doesn't want to do those cute little drawings that Kubo does. I get it in terms of like Kubo wants to maintain like the tone, but I feel like the tone is like the same. She's fun to be around. And because she's so fun, and those times were so happy. And then this guy says, and then oh my God. you were born. I swear to God, in the manga, when he says this, we just cut to these two talking. It feels so cold. It didn't feel like happy. Like the song is playing still. Da, 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 da. You were born and the song is still playing. It's still happy. Until it isn't June Truth, but in the manga, it feels like it was so happy until you were born. <laughs> like, it feels like that in the manga, bro. But yeah, clearly there's gonna be a post-credits. I'm just looking at the time. Oh, there we go. 
There you fucking go. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh, oh, we're actually seeing this. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, that's so cool. That do you guys remember the number nine? Oh my god, yo, that A, bro. <laughs> ふじられた王を歌ったものがあると聞いた。What that's a familiar shot, we all know. And Nichigo's traumatized ever since. This is a really long post credits though. Cool. Ikumi's like, what? <laughs> Dad? What? Who? Who? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Your dad's not here. <laughs> that's funny. Ah, that's funny, you motherfuckers. I want to look at this Ryuken scene though. What is this? Like, there's a uh, there's an umbrella here. Is this is this in the present after Uryu is approached by Ashwald? Uryu leaves, and Ryu can found found the Quincy book that Uryu was reading. Is that it? The fact that this is the probably the same fucking place where Masaki died is, is throwing me off here, right? Maybe it's a flashback from that time where Masaki died. But why? Was, oh, there was an umbrella here because it was raining at the time. But again, like it's it's raining the whole fucking episode. Man, what a cool treat to see uh, the fight though. It, that's fucking awesome. Uh, and it went about in a slightly different way than I was expecting. I thought she was like we weakened, but it was just like power using and then not used like immediately. That that was cool. Um, hmm. Actually, in the manga, mm, hmm. Is that does that make sense with what we see in the manga? I have to go back to the manga. Trying to keep it vague here, right? But uh, I need to go back, actually. Uh, before I uh, stop making Bleach videos for the next couple of months, I really wanted to make sure I say everything that I wanted to say, no stuns left in turn, that kind of shit, right? So I wanted to talk about a little bit more in depth into the Ash Fallen. In this episode, we learned that Yuha sucked the power uh, out of uh, mixed blood Quincy's. That's what happened with Saki, and that's what happened with Katagiri. Now, what I want you to question is what happened to characters like Uribishida? His mom is mixed blood, he should be mixed blood as well. Now, I don't remember 100%, but I do think we have an answer for that in the manga, so I'm not even, I'm not gonna go into much detail there. I think there's an answer, I'm just not remembering for sure, and what I'm remembering is a spoiler, so I think there's an answer for that one, but you know, consider that, think about that, don't forget that, right? It, it, it's, it's gonna be relevant, I think. Now, other characters that, it's, that is, is not explained, and it's not really relevant, we're just gonna have to theorize, is Ichigo, and Yuzu, and Karin, the whole Kurosaki family, right? What happened there? So, Ishigo is the one that has the hollow, right? He has whites. I I'm pretty sure his sisters don't have that. They probably have like a little substance or whatever, like a full burning kind of thing, but they don't have the white hollow. But either way, they are Shinigami. They are Quincy. Why didn't Yuha take their powers? W what happened there? Why are they still alive? I don't know. Again, it could be because of the Shinigami powers are protecting them or whatever, something like that. I am not 100% sure. It could be a plot hole, maybe, you know? <laughs> but uh, yes, Ichigo and using the card and survived this. Uryu survived this, and there is a reason. But these other characters, there's no real no real explanation. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to leave you back to back to the soul, guys. So I'm just, I'm just going to go. Goodbye. Huh. Huh. Is that consistent with what we see in the manga? It might be, it might not be. Again, Masaki uh, died, but uh, I I feel like some people get it, got it even worse. But yeah, um, that's a problem about not being pure. It's cool to know that Quincy's are all racist towards themselves. Oh, 
Oh, the blade is me. I thought it was and me. That's the true title. That's the true title. The website I'm using is fucking lying to me, I guess. It's like Ichigo. Everybody's lying to him as well, you know, like that. That, that makes sense, you know. It's true, true to the form, true to the character. But yes, let's just jump right ahead into the next fucking episode. Okay. How? <laughs> the fuck is that sound effect? <laughs> That is so convenient, bro. You know, probably should use that instead of, like, bothering Kukakuchiba to get to the royal palace, like, more fast, you know, with that teleportation thing that you have. But, you know, let's not think about it. Let's not think about it. Ridge is not here anymore, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty terrifying, honestly. <laughs> this fucking, this fucking version of the soundtrack is funny. They're becoming black? What's going on there? I don't know why that's happening, by the way. <laughs> I have no idea why they're just bowing to, to this to this Chad. Hmm. Interesting. Was the one Rinji had looking like a monkey snake thing? But really, even in the last fucking episode, we have this shit. Damn, soy fun. Damn. Again, no hate from here, from this channel. I'm not hating on her. Hmm. Shout out to those 3D Shinigamis. Oh, we're really just... We'd cut something, but, you know, don't matter. Don't care. Bruh, subtitles? Bruh? Yo, where are they? Whoa, what's going on? Yeah, you know, unless you massively change what happens in the manga with some cool, crazy added new scenes, you probably should fucking delete this scene if I'm being fucking real with you, bro. I completely forgot, like, about this character, by the way. Also, you know, the fact that the Hollows are you know, the opposite of Quincy's and vice versa or whatever, uh, uh, maybe, you know, maybe hollifying, you know, like, the visors themselves, maybe they, they would play a bigger deal and their, their powers, their hollow powers could be more important in the fight against Quincy's? Maybe? Maybe, right? Maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> ah, bro, I warned you guys. Things will get iffy from here on out. Oh, yo, I wonder if the enemy is going to make this, like, more clear. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Oh, I... Oh, oh, my... It will use its existing tissue as a host to give birth to a new... Ashi, Ashizogi Jizo, that's his, that's his, his Zanpakuto. I thought this was him making experiments on, let's just say, some characters. But he's talking about a Zanpakuto, so maybe it's not that, is it just an experiment on a Zanpakuto? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I think they technically showed up in the anime, in the field or something. This guy's family. Okay, that's the closest we get to, like, Kubo, uh, cute, weird drawings. Huh. You c oh, <laughs> better than the manga, better than the fucking manga, bro. I'm not here complaining. This is way better, bro. There's oh my god, this is oh, and oh my god, this is better already because you know different reasons, you know. Oh boy, but yeah, that was so much better than the manga because instead of them playing and being a good brother, which is gonna be a little relevant for later, we have like this other brother that he has basically creeping on her. It's just it's gr it's it's a little gross again, it's not too bad, but it's like. He's like, he talks about how, oh, let's read some sh stuff. And it's like, that's, the stuff he reads is creepy. And it's just, I don't know, bro. And the vibes of that guy, yeah, I don't know. This is so much better. This is so immediately better, bro. It, it makes Omaida more sympathetic. And that is important for, again, for stuff that happens later. And so I found, you know, again, damn, bro, the anime. <laughs> Make that look better. Wow, bro. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Let's go. I would love to expand more on this, by the way. We don't get a whole lot. The man in charge will change. I don't know about that though, considering what the Quincy's are actually planning. It's like converging everything into one thing. Reality, as I know, will change. Would love to see that, but we're not. What, what happened here? <laughs> the fucking Asauchi Hollow guy. What the hell? What the fuck? Like, his pose. So funny. Oh, I was not expecting this rainbow stuff. What is that? 
Yep. Uh, what what even is this supposed to be? I can't read that. Uh, what's that? Okay, so that that is blacked out or whatever on purpose. But it's it's Zangetsu. I, I think I can read that, and that's on purpose. Apparently, Koopa retroactively is saying that. Oh, well. I'm not gonna say shit. Yes, I've made other Zanpaktos that beat me up. <laughs> Yo, his pronunciation is actually pretty good. Wait, the little girl is doing something? I swear to God, in the manga, she didn't do shit. Yeah, we, we immediately went here. I will never remember your names. <laughs> They're not important. How, when are you listening to their private conversation, bro? Which is the exact same way the Azushi's created. Soul, dead Shinigami souls, which is wild, by the way. Everybody in this fucking show is, is doing experiments with dead people's souls. Shinigami souls, human souls, and it's just like, yeah, we're just not gonna, gonna mention where you got that. Yeah, was, okay. <laughs> okay, bro. Never mind the fact that they're supposed to be a soul balance thing that the queens of destroying. The souls have to go from one place to another, whatever. They still have to exist. But apparently, this is fine. This kind of experiment is fine. You know, I, I'm, I'm just saying, bro. I just, I just find that interesting. Okay, is this gonna turn into rain? Ah, oh, really? Really? Wow, really? You made it look like the opening, huh? I don't like that. I prefer it to look like the normal place. I'm not sure if you can listen as well. He has the same voice actor. Now let's be real here. In any of the new flashbacks that they did, did that look like old Ben Zangetsu? It still looked like Yuha, you know? Uh, at least Yuha never wore, wore, was wearing those clothes, you know? And there's gonna be another flashback later on where it does look like a, a Zangetsu. Yeah, that that that's the face, bro. That's the what the fuck face. Classic bleach. That one is like one of the most iconic ones. Here comes the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Same voice actor. You should go. I told you before. I don't like the rain. You are an ally, though. Th this line is dumb. It's a dumb line, but it's a it's a, it's a uh, Yuha quote, right? Oh, this shot is so good. Dude, oh my god, the reflections. This is so good. I'm... Wow. The visuals are wild. I'm, I'm, I'm just amazed. No, no, my second dad. Hmm. Like Kenpachi. Some action. Gotta be the center of attraction. Apparently. Damn. Yellow. Okay. Damn, her boots are huge. What the fuck? I just noticed that now. Pull it out, uh, <laughs> bruh. Ooh, that's sexy. That's pretty dope. You are me, the blade is me. One of the, one, one of the thing, things that was cool in the manga is that, that the chapter where we're getting all this shit, the first one is the blade and me too, because the blade and me one is like one of the very early chapters with Zangetsu and maybe hollow guy. Every time I'm going to say Zangetsu, I'm still going to refer to the old version, fake version, by the way. It's just easier. But yeah, so we had the blade and me too, but then we have blade is me, because that's the lesson that Nimaya wanted to convey to Ichigo and Renji when he threw them into that hole, which is, what do you think is the relationship between Shinigami and Zanpakuto? Which one is better? Which one is stronger? Do you see them as friends or lovers or sisters or whatever? None of that matters, because what actually is reality is that you are the Zanpakuto. The blade is you. In the middle of that scene where Ichigo and Zanpakuto are fading, I was just thinking, I wonder if like Ichigo can actually just have a seal Zanpakuto form, you know, not, not a Shikai, kind of like similar to what he had in the first arc. I don't think we're ever going to see that, you know, but it was just interesting that the, the swords were fitting away in reality. I thought that was like a dream thing in the manga, but like it was fitting away in reality to create that visual within. But yeah. Let's see what is the final scene, though. Yeah, I was thinking it's going to be this. My son born in the light? Sa Tomoni Tatako. 
That's close enough. I think technically that's not the, the last scene in the manga. What a journey. What a journey. Honestly, I've complained about little things here and there, but overall, I think they did a fantastic fucking job. This is clearly made by people that, that care about the manga. And it, it just shows. It just shows. Even the, the things that are cutting, I understand. You know, even if I'm sad, sad here and there, some cuts are fine, by the way. Some cuts are fine. <laughs> now, in terms of the actual story and stuff, I do want to say this, and I'm going to be the bearer of bad news, I guess. Personally, in my opinion, all the things that we saw up until this point, this is the peak of this arc. Everything that comes after this is going to be controversial. It's going to be iffy. There's going to be good stuff as well. Don't get me wrong. Some great moments are still coming. But there's also other moments that are not as good. They're just questionable. They're just like, what, what are you doing, bro? And personally, I don't like. Some of you might like, you know. And again, because the anime has done a, such a great job, some things might be just done better. They might even add more stuff or just like change things. But even if they don't, the fact that we have this pacing of like really covering a lot of chapters per episode, what are just the benefits in general? Even if you just adapt 100% how it is in the manga, you're not going to spend a month in a fight that doesn't matter. That is a thing that is not going to happen. And it was constantly happening in the manga. You're watching fights and it's like, okay, a month of this fight that's not moving the plots oh god another fight that doesn't matter is immediately happening the plot is not moving forward and the in the anime because of the pacing i i can see that this is not going to be that bad if it's going to be one two episodes you know i'm not that afraid of that but i'm also secretly begging for more because again you have things like shuhei have a bankai and it's like bruh i don't know man you probably should cut that scene i know what's coming and that's not coming unless it is coming in the anime version Things are already starting to get a little iffy here and there, like small little things. It's just gonna pile up eventually. And by the end of the arc, there's just a tons of problems, you know? But right now, this is what I like. This whole batch of episodes is why the start of his arc is like one of my favorites. You know, it's just that good. It, it gets going immediately. It's so fast. It's so engaging. You have so many emotional moments and then you have like amazing backstory, just fun moments. You're seeing all kinds of payoffs, all kinds of payoffs. But yeah, um, here's to a part two slash season two core two whatever you want to call that here's to a better version better season right like here's hoping we, we we get something that's good that maintains the quality i'm a little afraid but if nothing else i'm happy i'm just getting bleach you know gotta be real with you the fact that i'm getting bleach started making me happy but you know i, I do want to try to be a little as objective as, as i possibly can you know so that's why i'm gonna complain here and there about things that maybe not might not matter to you but you know like at the end of the day you know they are a thing that's gonna be it from me in terms of this I don't know when the fuck... Actually, let's just look it up very quickly when it's going to come out. Because we might have a re release date, actually. Okay, so it's apparently a June release date. Apparently, there's a, there's a new trailer for, for, for this part. Yeah, fortunately, I don't have subtitles, though. Well, let's just to pretend that I know I know what the fuck they're saying. The next season. They're calling it a season. I'm going to call it a season. I'm sorry. Are you going to show actual footage or are you just going to fucking play with my dick, bro? Shots like this just remind me of a life action movie that I haven't seen. <laughs> Damn, the soundtrack. Ooh. Go home, Kurosaki. I don't say Japanese, but I understand some stuff. Oh, okay, footage. There you go. Again, some of that stuff is going to be great. Itsugai has some fun stuff. Oh my god, you should go with, those, with that office. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Omayo Koros, fuck off, bro. Yeah, I don't know about that. Damn, bro, that is looking good. That is looking good, and I want to believe, bro. I want to believe so bad. Here's hoping for a new opening, though. That, that's something that I really want. Gotta love how, like, this outfit is ridiculous, but, you know, really, to just have space for, you know, a little window there, you know, a little breathing room, you know, that that is important. June, J J July? Was it July, actually? And... It should be a part four. This is going to be a part four kind of thing. So, okay. So we have Uryu scenes here. Uryu returns like probably by the end of this part, I'm assuming. I think that's going to be the end of the of this part. But I don't know. I have to think about the structure of the chapters or whatever. How many things are you going to cover? July. Okay. So maybe no promises though. I have other things on my plate. But like I said before, I didn't watch the live action Bleach movie. Probably don't want to watch that to be honest. I heard it was not that bad, but like, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, but like I haven't seen Burn the Witch. I haven't actually touched that content besides the very first one shot that Kubo did back in the day. The one before the new Bleach chapter that came out. 
and I haven't read that as well. Shocking factor, maybe, I don't know, like, uh, I'm watching this anime wearing this, but I actually didn't read that special chapter. I haven't seen any of that yet, but I might uh, do that in the future, you know, before July, to keep the Bleach stuff going, if any of you care. Probably not, though. Most of you probably want is uh, the thing with the Titans, right? That guy, what's his name? John Titan, yeah, that's that that guy. You probably want that one instead, but uh, you know, I'll just do what I want to do, and I want to do both of them. If I have to be honest, problems are gonna be time, you know. So that's it. All right, let's just end this fucking goddamn nightmare video. So guys, thank you for watching, for being here for this whole bleach journey. I don't know what happened. I was getting no views, and then I did the controversial video, and I got some views. Not really. Like it's just Chainsaw Man was getting more, and then it it wasn't. So I don't know what happened there, but like I appreciate whoever's watching. Thank you for being here. And we'll see you later, right? Like July, that's a long time. That's a long, long time, you know? So some of you are just gonna fuck off. And to that, I say you know, goodbye. And to the people that stick around, thank you. And uh, hopefully I'll do something that you want to watch because uh, I have subscribers and they're not watching anything, <laughs> you know? So, you know, that's it's kind of hard to play the YouTube game. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed, it would be cool if you leave a comment, you know, and maybe a like on the video. But a comment is probably better. That's how I know real people are watching this, this fucking video. <laughs> that's just how I feel. That's just how I feel, honestly. But yeah, I'll see you guys in July. Damn, bro. That's a, it's a long time. It's it, I, At least there's a release date, you know. But man...